disc cyclocross bikes. They're here in a big way. After a couple years of a few brands talking about it, it seems like now everyone has the disc brake cyclocross bike. First of all, why do you need disc brakes on a cyclocross bike? I, I would say you know not everyone needs them, but the you know the, the benefits really are you get uh, a lot more stopping power. More importantly, you get uh, really good braking modulation, and you get awesome performance in pretty much every weather condition. I mean, no matter what the conditions, the braking is pretty much always the same every time. We tested about a dozen bikes. We found the braking performance to be better than existing canny brakes by a long shot. However, all the bikes we tested and all the bikes that are available are uh, cable actuated disc brakes, not the hydraulic, which you're probably familiar with from most modern mountain bikes. Yeah, I mean, um, Shimano and SRAM both have systems in development, but they're not ready yet. Um, so for now, a lot of the brakes that we have, uh, well, I, guess, I guess all the brakes that we have really, I mean, they're based on pretty old technology. Um, they do work, and when they're set up properly, they, they do work really well. Um, but they are a little bit finicky, and if they're not set up properly, then they're not always as good as a well set up cantilever. So what's a downside, or what a you know, common downside to a, a disc bike is the weight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, on, it, on any of these bikes, you have about, you know, give or take a pound of extra weight. Um, so, you know, if that's a concern for, for racers especially, then that's something to think about. Um, for a lot of more you know, kind of casual riders, you know, disc brakes do offer a lot of advantages and something to think about. So for some of those guys, the weight is definitely worth the, worth the, worth the trade-off. Some of those positive advantages, just speaking of, is uh, braking in wet weather, especially with a, a carbon rim. You know, coming down a steep hill and in poor, poor and rain conditions, you grab the brakes on a uh, candy bike and nothing really happens for a second or so. <laughs> with, with sometimes this, longer. <laughs> sometimes not until you hit the guy in front of you does anything happen. With, with disc brakes, it might not be that uh, you know, flip you over the nose type power that a hydraulic has, but it will stop you and will stop you quickly. Yeah, I mean, that's one big misconception that people have. I and mean, a lot of people think that disc brakes just offer a lot more power, but that's not necessarily the case. I mean, the power is always limited to how well the tire is going to grip on the ground. I mean, that, that hasn't changed. But what you have now is you have better control of, you know, that that block of power from when you're not hitting the brakes at all to when the tire slip. You just have a lot more control of that area. Consistent modulation yep. each time, every time. Yep. For complete reviews of each one of these bikes, uh, plus how we feel about them as a whole, check out bikeradar.com.